Hey everyone, how's it going? So one question I get in a lot of my videos, or I used to get, is the toolbar that pops up here when I move my mouse cursor to the top of a chart. Um, I thought I made a video on this a long time ago, but I couldn't find one, so I thought I would show how to do that real quick. What you want to do in a chart is just go to the gear icon right here, and under General, you're just going to go to My Tools here, and just turn that on. I have it set to On Each Chart, um, but then Apply and OK. Um, once you do that, you're just going to have these three right here. Um, and what the toolbar allows you to do is, if you actually go to the gear icon right here, you can just add a button, and you can add a drawing tool. You can add any study that you wish, or a study set, or a style. And I primarily use it more for styles than anything. So what you would do to use that for a style is, you know, first we'll add a few indicators to the chart. Um, so I'm just going to do this to auto add a few indicators. And now we have some indicators on this chart. We can right click it and go to style and then save this as a style and make sure to choose include patterns and study set and then name the style, whatever you want it to be named. Um, and then once you have done that, then you can go to the toolbar go to add button and then choose style and then choose whatever style you want. Um, so this is spy QQ IWM year to date. We'll add that. I haven't looked at this in a while, so I'm not sure if it's going to work and it does work. It seems so this is a comparison chart of actually Amazon QQQ because I'm looking at Amazon. Now we have a comparison chart of SPY, QQQ, and IWM. SPY is in the green. Um, I actually have a video on how to create a chart like this, but doing this will allow you to choose between uh, a few different charts. So right here I have a just a one year clean. There's no indicators on here. It does have some trend lines drawn that I've manually drawn. Uh, this is another one that's the TTM squeeze that has both the short and the long, I believe. I haven't used this in a while either. Um, as far as the TTM trend as well. Um, and then if you want to add just a simple moving average, you can do that right here. And that would be actually just doing a study. So, you know, let's say we want to add a study. We'll add another button. We'll do a study and let's do volatility studies. Let's do implied volatility. Done. So now when I click that, it adds implied volatility to the chart. If I go to clean, IV, so now it does that. So anyway, that is how to add this tool and a couple of things that you can do with this tool. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.